Disney Plus. But they're just gonna hang out and watch now. All right, welcome. We're getting started very, very soon. Uh, this is Our Life Live. very soon. Uh, get ready because I want to shout out your city. Uh, I want to shout you out. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Art Life Live. My name is David Garibaldi. We're going to continue our We Will Grow theme. Let's paint. My name is David Garibaldi and I paint live. As I paint, let's talk about Art Life Live starts now. Okay, welcome back. I don't know if you're coming back with us or joining right now, but we had to sign off because we had some technical difficulties, but we're back. I want to shout out your city. Uh, real quick, Josh Byrne on YouTube, you were like, hey, I thought the live was canceled for a second. We, it is here, we're, we're, in, we're on here. So also Nathan Ola on YouTube, hello back to you. Also Joseph tuning in on Facebook from Lynchburg, Virginia. Where else are you tuning in from? Fairfield, France, welcome. God, what time is it in France? You guys are up late. Naples, Italy. Yes, I see uh, Wendy in Arkansas, welcome. India, welcome as well. Stockton, Columbus, Ohio, welcome. Indiana, Woodbridge, Quebec, Amsterdam, welcome. Turkey. Marietta, Rancho Cucamonga, I see uh, Josh Byrne in Rochester on YouTube, yes. Uh, also Nathan, Nathan said you were my Uber driver in Moline, Illinois. What's crazy is, I remember that, so. <laughs> I don't remember your name, but now I do, so. It's 5 a.m. in France. I don't know if you're up late or up early, but welcome France, I appreciate it. Uh, let's see who else. I'm just reading some comments down here. Uh, I see Shannon on Facebook. You're tuning in from Toronto. Welcome to you. Uh, Simon and Reno Nevada. So real quick, we're going to continue our theme of We Will Grow. This will probably be the last one of the series. I said that last time, but I promise this will probably be the last one at least for a while. Um, also in theme with this, we're going to be coming out with the We Will Grow prints of various sizes tomorrow or Friday. So stay tuned because I'm gonna show you what those look like. We have the full size, um, the biggest one, and also every, actually every single size of that. So the We Will Grow print coming out later this week. But, uh, and also those of you wondering, you know, if it gets late and I haven't gone live yet, you can always check my Instagram and I update daily on my story and I'll let you guys know if I've got a, take a break uh, from the live stream or something crazy is going on in the family. So um, let's see, where else are they So Trev916 met me at, a long, at the Long Beach Airport a while ago. Thanks for joining us, I appreciate it. I see Netherlands, Atlanta, uh, where else? Um, really, wherever you're tuning in from, I appreciate you taking the time to do this. Uh, we're gonna start painting very soon. And, and again, if there's any technical difficulties, let's just, you know, go along with it. And uh, really the point of this is that I wanna create together, and before we start, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end with this, actually before we get to the painting, is the meaning of art life. Art life is about connecting life with art. And so, you know, with that said, it really inspires uh, the paintings and what's going on in the world around us is what inspires all of this, but also most importantly, using art to connect with you in your life. And so uh, I just appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this, but are you guys ready for some painting right now? If you're ready. Also real quick, 
right after this live on Instagram, I'm gonna go live again to honor a local rapper that we lost. He's really a local creative, uh, showed a lot of support in my career early on. So Doey Rock, uh, rest in peace. We're gonna honor you on a live after this on my Instagram. Either way, if you guys are ready, ready? Let's paint. All right, welcome. So I've been on this uh, We Will Grow theme for a little bit. And we're gonna continue this today. And by the way, my kids are here too. They may pop in every now and then. So, all right, let's get to work. I'm gonna use my wall as a palette as always. All right. Yes, please. So uh, as you're watching this, feel free to ask your questions below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So right now too, while you're getting your questions ready, I am just blocking off some sections on this canvas, the parts that I want my shadows to be. Um, I, 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 you know, I wish he had entertainment like this back then, but I think that people of all ages have been enjoying this, you know, actually, that's true, you know, I, we had Bob Ross, we were, we were lucky to have that, so, obviously a huge inspiration on me, on my art, but, you know, people kind of joke around, they say like, they comment on my videos and say that I'm the modern Bob Ross, and, you know what, the fact that his legacy is still living on, it's really an honor of him. Uh, he inspired, I think, any, any person that paints live was probably inspired by him. All right, keep those questions coming as well. This is still inspired by the We Will Grow theme. This is probably the last one, but the We Will Grow print is coming out later this week. How much does it, oh, how much paint does it take to paint this canvas? That's a great question. Um, I don't know. I have, I have about 16 different colors laid out on the ground around me, and I, I probably go through maybe a gallon of paint all together per painting. So it just depends on how involved I am. So what age did I start painting? I started painting actually at 20 years old, but I've been an artist my whole life. I've always been creating. Uh, so something different about today's live is my kids are here. They're usually not here during the live session, but I, it makes me a little bit more nervous because they're very hard to impress. So hopefully they enjoy this. I'm curious, how many families are actually out there wa that watch these together? Does anyone watch this? Does anyone watch this with the camera? Crispy, don't, don't touch the camera, please. Yeah, he's like over here trying to, trying to mess with the camera. Please don't touch it. So how long does it take me to paint? Each painting can take anywhere from really as quick as six minutes to the ones that I do on the live, because I take my time, I talk to you guys, is, you know, it could take about 30 minutes or so. But uh, also, if you're wondering about the price of paintings, you can always visit garibaldiarts.com forward slash gallery, and you can go in there and see different price points and sizes as well. So keep your questions coming. I'm gonna do my best to answer them. Crispy Mia, do you guys have any questions? No? Okay, okay. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. I've been, I've been on this like... <laughs> does the paint come off easily? Uh, no, the paint does not come off. This is very, very permanent paint. 
that's a great question. That's a great question. How do I read my questions? My beautiful assistant, Chadi, my girlfriend, is reading your comments and she's talking to me uh, while you're commenting. So I'm, we're, I'm doing I'm doing my best to. Yes. By the way, if you're watching this too on TikTok or Instagram. There's a link in my bio that says live stream and there's a better quality, better viewing experience on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Just look for Garibaldi Arts. So this is just a white canvas. Uh, it's really, there's literally nothing special about it. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just a, a white canvas. I would say this canvas does have gesso on it. So those of you that don't know what gesso is, it is like a layer of, it's like something that seals the cotton canvas that lets you paint on top of it. What was the question? Do I know how to do graffiti? I would say so. I could, I used, I, I could still dabble in it, but I just, I, I don't do it like I used to. I used to do it growing up and I would much rather not get arrested. Although the other day we were out, what's that? I, I, we'll have to wait and see. You'll have to watch the stream and see what comes to life. Is that, what was the question? Oh, so my son is over here. He's like raising his hand and asking so politely, how hard is it to paint? Do you want to try and see how hard it is? I don't think it's hard at all when you've been doing this for a long time. So my son, you do gymnastics, right? Yeah. Okay. So is gymnastics hard? Yeah. It is hard. Even though um, now are there certain tricks in gymnastics that are not as hard? Would you say that's true? Are there certain tricks in gymnastics? Okay. So, and then there, you're always learning too, right? You're always trying to like learn something new. So that's kind of how, this painting is as as much as there are things that I'm really really good at there's a lot more that I'm constantly learning how to get better at as well uh, so how do I improve my art it's really literally painting every day and then challenging myself with new subjects as well I think that um, for example I usually do portraits just usually portraits and lately actually I normally do portraits on black canvas and lately I've been doing figures on white canvas so you've got to constantly challenge yourself uh, to improve and that's how you know we all get better all right I kind of established a, a feel of where we're going with this and I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna add some so where do I get my canvases at I think this one's from Hobby Lobby so you can just go to like any local art store. Uh, I, I order online or I go to like Michael's, it just depends. You know, I, I don't, I also don't use anything that's really super special. Yeah, so it's a great question. So what paints do I use? This is just latex house paint. That's all this is. Uh, depends on what I'm creating as well. Sometimes I use acrylics. Um, I've studied this image. I've kind of figured it out. I have my own way of, of studying, but I don't have a, a visual reference per se. I don't have any color reference anywhere. But all of this is happening. I have a structure in mind. I just, you know, I'm going with the flow. Not exactly sure what's going to happen next. So someone just asked, can I paint George Floyd? I've actually painted it. So if you go to any of my pages, you will see the portrait of George Floyd on there. So what's my most favorite thing I've ever painted? I think it's always my next painting. So up until this point, the, the last couple that I've done where I started this theme of the We Will Grow, you know, this has been a fun theme for me, but I would say 
my next painting, whatever that's gonna be, is to me gonna be the best one. So I try not to get caught up in the past. When it's done, it's done, and then it's time to move on. So do I have a specific place for when I paint? Yes, we're right now, we are in my studio in Sacramento, California. And I usually do most of my painting, creating here. But honestly, I really will paint anywhere. Anywhere I can, you know, whether I'm at home painting or Do I use paint cans to wash my paintbrushes? Uh, I, I just use water in buckets, depending on what, whatever bucket it is, but really water does the job, gets the brushes clean. Yeah, so shout out to Kylie on TikTok. So did I go to art school? I did not go to art school. Uh, I studied really just in high school. And then from there, it was mostly just self-taught after that. Yes, what was the question? Okay, so my son has a question. What, what's your question? How many colors are in the painting? So I have, that's a great question. I have about 16 colors laid out on the ground. And then I mix those together to create a lot of other colors. Yes, yeah, 16. There's probably more. I have quite the collection. Uh-huh. Uh, well, I think black is slimming. That's probably why I, why I wear it. But, uh, you know, it is kind of a thing where people that are creative tend to wear black. I think the reason why, this is my theory, why creatives wear black is because there's a lot less choice. And you leave, you leave the work to your mind to worry about things like, what am I going to create rather than what am I going to wear? I love fashion. I love, uh, you know, shopping. I love clothes. but. Sometimes I just, I like just putting on a, a black outfit. Ooh, so I've been requested some really crazy stuff before. Um, I think one of the, I wouldn't say crazy, but I, I've definitely been requested things like the, the, the pets, the animals. Um, I've done a handful of those. Just depends. Yeah, so someone just asked, am I gonna do one for Doey? Actually, right after this live stream, I'm gonna stream the painting of him. Rest in peace. So right now, I'm just kind of blocking in sections of this painting before I start adding details. Uh, and you try to do that when the paint is wet, so if the paint is wet, it kind of allows you to block in certain colors. And then later on, when it dries, on top of that, you start adding the details. And again, at least that's what works for me. If you're an artist out there, I would love for you to share how do you approach your paintings. Um, I would love to hear your advice as well. Oh, so what paint brushes do I use? Uh, I use specifically synthetic brushes and yeah, so I use synthetic brushes uh, there. There's really nothing special about them, but there is a link in my bio and it says Amazon art supplies. You can use the same brushes that I use here in the studio. Ooh, I can hear my daughter in the background going, ooh. Yes. So where do I get my inspiration? Um, you know, recently, I think most of the time, it's about what's happening in the world around us. That's where I get most of my inspiration from. 
If not, uh, you know, it's from, from just from life. So we're gonna come back to that. do I paint? Well, uh, yesterday I got about four paintings done here in the studio and then we go live three days a week. So, I, I mean, I could paint every single day, uh, but at minimum, uh, at least every other day I'm painting. But I am a father and I know my life is plenty busy with family, with kids, but we enjoy, we try to enjoy life outside of the studio as well. Ooh, that's a good question. How much do I spend on paint? Uh, man, too much. Uh, so I, again, I'm gonna throw my math questions to you out there. If, if each gallon costs I don't know, let's just say $15 to round it off. So $15 a gallon, and I use 16 gallons of paint per show, and on average, I do about 100 shows a year. Can someone do the math for me and let me know how much do I spend a year on paint? So, so why don't you have more of a by Uh So I only offer small prints of my work rather than original paintings because I paint large. So that's why there's no uh, smaller images on there that are originals. Do I have clothes? I have, a, I have a few. I have a few clothes that don't have paint on it. But at some point, everything gets paint on it. Are you Italian? Am I Italian? Uh, there's definitely Italian in, in me. I'm mixed with a lot of different things. But my last name comes from the Italian side of my family. Uh, have I ever thought about not painting more? Never. Actually, I don't think I've ever thought about not doing, even with this, you guys, think about this. When COVID hit, I was, you know, painting at live shows. First thing I did was how soon can I just paint here in the studio? So I love painting regardless of what's happening in the world, what's happening in my world. Do I know how to dance my paint? Um, you could say that. You guys can go research some videos and you let me know if you think I could dance or not. <laughs> I like, or real quick, I like to say I move to the music rather than dance when I paint. Is painting your real job or a hobby? So is painting my real job? I feel like it's beyond a job at this point. Uh, I've been blessed to, you know, make painting a career for the past... 17 years has been a huge blessing and uh, but it started as a hobby and I, and I only want to reference that because a lot of you out there are maybe thinking about spending more time to and spending more efforts to become a professional artist and I and I encourage everyone that if you if that's what's in your heart and that's what you want to pursue do it but also realize that when becoming a professional artist you're, you have to trade off a lot. And you start making that list of things that you have to trade off. And think about it more like you're starting a business. You know, you're becoming an entrepreneur. And if you think about most entrepreneurs when they start their companies, they're, they spend a lot of time alone. They're, uh, they've got to give up a lot of social events and socializing. So you know, that's part of it, there's a lot more. But I think just understanding that there's sacrifice that comes with pursuing anything that is worth it. But again, you, it's very, very possible in the day and age that we live in to be a professional artist. So do I think art classes in school actually help you in the future of painting? Yes. If it wasn't for high school art classes and the classes that I took, I would not be painting with you today. I feel like that's actually what set me up to pursue art early on. And, but I didn't stop in just the classroom. 
my training started in the classroom and what I did was I went outside the class, I went out and was drawing from life, uh, just doing, doing extra, you could call it extra credit, but doing everything outside of the class that would help me just get better. So that's another really important part is you may, you may start in the class, but it has to end outside of it. You gotta put a lot of extra work into it. All right, so I'm just establishing some light breaks on the face. We're gonna add more detail later. What's that, Crispy? Am I, am I doing the background? Not yet, not yet. It's a great question. So have I done shows in Europe? Yes, we've been all over Europe. Uh, just last year alone, we did about, I don't know, 30 something shows throughout Europe. Um, just this in the summer when I was on tour. But um, yeah, we, I can't wait to go back to, to Europe. You remember me going on tour? Yeah. Uh huh. Yes. So my my kids are here. They they remember when I was gone this summer in Europe. I'm looking for a smaller brush, but you know what? Let's see. I'll use this one over here. But that's definitely hard. I mean, the the best thing about being home right now is the fact that I'm not traveling. And I get to just enjoy this time at home. Not only just to paint with you, but also with the kids as well. So someone asked, what is my studio set up? Um, we, you know, we'll show, we'll show more of the studio later on, but for right now, we're gonna show you just this area, the, the paint. But really the, the basics of my setup is yeah, it's the surface area that I, I walk and paint on, and then just the paint, and then the wall. That's the basics of this particular area. Uh, yes, yeah, so have I ever made a city landscape? Yes, I have, but it's very, very rare that I would do that. So real quick, I'm just actually blocking in the eyes. I'm gonna come back when that dries more. We're gonna add more detail to it, but for now, we're gonna move on and just let that dry. So a lot of this stuff that I've done right now, I just put on the first layer. We're gonna let it dry a little bit because it's pretty, pretty good temperature in here. And then as it dries, we're gonna add more details and just build layers on top of that. The cool thing about this white canvas is I get to leave a lot of space on there. I'm gonna do something with the background where I'm not gonna need a lot of the background, so. Why am I painting so late? So it's, it's only about eight, eight something here. Um, you know, those of you that are maybe just tuning in, I am a father, I'm a family man. And um, you know, there's other things that go on outside of just painting live that are important to me. So sometimes it delays the process and that's okay. You know, I'm, as much as I love painting for you, my family gets my time and energy first. So we're gonna make sure that they're good before I go live. Yeah, I think we do actually. Maybe, maybe we'll add some later on. Uh, I shared earlier, but later this week, either tomorrow or Friday, I think because we're, we're painting so late today, uh, we're gonna come out with the new uh, We Will Grow print. So stay tuned for that. Um, it depends, you know, sometimes it's things that I imagine, but I think everything is referenced from life. And I think part of it is, uh, you know, whether I've, you're referencing the structure of a human face or someone that I saw, but it just depends on who and where I am. All right, I'm gonna, again, we're just blocking in stuff right now, establishing what's happening. We're gonna let some stuff dry. And let's start adding some green to this. I'm gonna change tips. If you have more questions, ask them below, down below in the comments. So 
So, uh, real quick, actually come in close for this. I want to show you guys what I'm doing. We'll sh all right, we'll show you. What was the question? Um, I, I hope that it just inspires people to create. Uh, real quick, I wanted to bring you in close because uh, there's this technique that I use with the spray can. Instead of pressing down and having all the paint come out, is I just press down lightly and I'm able to control how much comes out of the can. And I'm just doing this to establish some green, some greenery, some leaves. But I still want it to drip a little bit as well. Ever met the figures I painted? I uh, definitely met the people like different, you know, pop culture uh, icons that that I painted before. But also just everyday people, uh, people that I've painted their portraits at live events as well. Those have been pretty, pretty cool. All right. So these white canvases definitely take a little bit longer to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of here. My thing is, is as free as you can get with your uh, process, whether you're laying down your sketch, whether you're doing the first layer of paint, the more free you are on that base level, you're gonna build on top of that something that does not feel constricted. It'll feel more alive. All right, I'm gonna finish with that right now. Let's, uh, there was no plan today. I just, we're, we're kind of making this up as I go. All right, let's add some highlights to the flowers. So I've been painting professionally for about uh, se 17 years. Yeah, I had to think about that for a second. Have you ever traded art with somebody to create something like you like? Yeah, so have I ever traded art? I tr actually have traded art quite a bit in the past. Matter of fact, when I first started painting, I traded art for rent. So I owed about maybe a, a month or two of rent, and I remember my landlord coming to knock on the door and Gary was his name. And uh, he's like, look, man, I, I know you're, you know, you've, you've got rent to pay, but uh, I, I gotta let you know. And then he opens the door, sees what I was working on, sees the, these paintings. And then he obviously said, hey, you know, I've got this blank spot on the front of the building. Would you be willing to uh, paint a mural there in exchange for the, the rent you owe? And I was like, for sure, without a doubt. And thanks to Gary, I was able to have a place to stay for a little bit more, so. I mean, he's, you know, I know that he's had plenty of offers to sell the building and he hasn't because he doesn't want to give up the, uh, the mural. So I'm like, Gary, sell the building. <laughs> so I'm just adding some curls. So this is the cool part is, you know, I think some people get scared when you're, when the, the paint is wet, it's not dry. You feel like it's not coming to life right away. You've really just got to be patient with this whole process. How do you choose colors for outlines? So how do I choose colors for outlines? I, um, you know, it depends. Am I going to establish highlights or shadows? I've got to establish either one. Today I started establishing shadows first and that's what I chose uh, first. So it just depends on really the image and how can I best serve the image. It really depends, so do I sketch before I paint? Depends on the complexity of the painting, uh, whether I know it or not or memorized it. And so some paintings are sketched, some paintings are not. It just depends on, again, we're here to serve the art. And what does it take to make the art? All right, let's start defining these hands a little bit more. I'm gonna use 
some different brushes. I'm gonna add some shadows to these hands. Uh, when I'm painting on a white canvas, it's really important to keep silhouette in mind and, and think about what, what does this thing look like from far away and um, if you were to take out all the detail, how would it look, you know, standing alone on its own? So that's what I kind of keep in mind as I'm creating this. Okay, so we're getting low on battery on TikTok. If it goes off, again, you can always join us. Um, there's a link in my bio that says live stream. We'll be continuing to stream live from there. Either way, I appreciate you guys all joining today. Thank you so, so much. So I've ever painted a famous person, yes. Yes, I have. So I've messed up plenty of times, but I never scrapped the painting. For example, there's plenty of parts of this painting where I could have been like, you know what? I'm just not feeling this. I could easily just give it up. But again, for me, it's about following through and, and establishing this, uh, you know, to the vision that I saw when I started. All right, I can get some details on these eyes. <laughs> yeah, I, start, I started with a white canvas today, but, you know, you're right, there's a lot of different layers in here. Have you ever painted Pablo Picasso? So have I ever painted Pablo Picasso? I have. One of my early TikTok paintings was a, actually even a, one of our early live paintings was a Pablo Picasso. So if you go on any of my pages, you'll see that on there. adding some eyelashes to this female figure. I imagine her with some short locks, but just still feeling powerful. I want her to feel like she's, she's in control, she's powerful. Uh, that's a great question. So when do I choose to paint with a brush or with spray paint? So the thing about spray paint, actually all this paint gets very, very wet and sometimes it's hard to establish in this quick speed um, any, anything. So the, the spray paint helps me establish some direction on the canvas when the paint is still wet. So if there's a part of the canvas that's wet and I want to establish it, I turn to spray paint and it helps me helps me define this. So I'm gonna add some, what would be shadows under these objects. There may be some dripping. That's okay. That's just my style. I, I love when the painting feels loose and alive, but at the same time, a little defined as well. It's a great question. So do I use different types of caps? Yes, this is actually the cap that I'm using now is a, is a fat cap, but I'm using it with a little bit of, uh, a little less air pressure. So I'm kind of getting using it as a skinny cap and a fat cap all at once. All right, I'm gonna actually add some more leaves just because I'm feeling it.
Also, uh, those of you watching right now, uh, if this is your first time watching this live, can you actually just comment below and just say new, just so we know that you're new, just so that we know we can shout you out. And uh, if, if you've been on here before, welcome back. We appreciate you joining. Just adding some leaves. It's like, these are like my happy trees. Uh, yeah, I've actually done a couple of those paintings where uh, we've collaborated with different artists on different parts of it. And uh, actually, let me get the black real quick. It's been a while though. One of them, we had him on this Art Life Live session. Bammer, he's from Sacramento, California. We did a collaboration in my studio. So real quick, I'm just defining the pupils on the eye. I want that to just be a little bit more piercing. I'm gonna just put some detail in these eyebrows. What's my favorite video game? Uh, in the past, it was uh, it was Grand Theft Auto. Now it's NBA 2K because I play with my son all the time, and he just absolutely crushes me in it. <laughs> it's funny when you see me painting with one brush. Oh, did I? yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to define around these flowers that are in place of a mask. I absolutely love what I do and I hope that it inspires others. And I say that because if you're not doing something that's encouraging others to pursue their dream, I think you have to take into account Am I exuding any passion for, or for what I actually love? Am I, do I, am I doing what I love enough that it makes someone else want to wonder, wow, I wonder what that feels like? And so, you know, I love the message that I get on Instagram, people that, um, you know, just send encouragement to me and just say, thank you for doing these live streams. Uh, and those are the people that I end up, I feel like I'm painting for and creating for. What's my favorite song? Ooh, oh man. One of my favorite songs is actually by Kanye West and Touch the Sky. So the song Touch the Sky by Kanye West. I also love Rocket Man by Elton John, one of my favorites. Yeah, so actually our, our music's a little low today. I'm not sure why. We'll figure it out, but I always have music on in the background. Always. All right, now that my the skin tone has dried, I can now add on top of that. So artists out there, think about what you're doing in layers. Establish a base, be loose, be free. Don't try to be perfect. Let it dry, go back, and then you can establish a little bit more if you feel like it needs it. And I feel like this definitely needs it. So there's like folds that I want to establish. Yeah, so what did I like most about Brazil? I was there for the uh, Rio Olympics, and wow, there, what, there was so much. Let me first say that it was during the time when everyone's freaking out about Zika, I get it, but when I was there, it was just, you know, I don't, I don't think I ever saw a bug or felt a bug anywhere, and uh, so I, I really, you know, I'm kind of sad that people missed out, but I just, I love the food in Brazil. First and foremost, um, the people were just, you know, really hospitable to us. I linked up with this artist that lives out there. Got to know him a little bit, but I, I would love to go back. Loved Brazil. You know, let's put a let's put a bracelet on her. I feel like she needs like a charm bracelet. Let's put another one over here. And what, what would be on her charm bracelet? So this is the part, real quick. I started this, I had a structure of a person that I knew I wanted to do. I started adding 
the, the flowers, the plants, and now we're thinking about who she is. What is her story? What is she saying? And, and this is where I'm thinking about, you know, the jewelry and what, what's, what's it gonna say? And so I'm going to write, you can come in close for this. Yeah. So real quick, you can come in close, close. So hope and justice, again, these are just little elements that I started thinking about. What is her story? You can see her there. What is her story? Who is she? What does she represent? And this is part of it. Hopefully this gives away, you know, why she is here, why she's positioned this way. Uh, there's a lot you can do with a little information to tell a story in one single image. In the background, still in this area. The cool thing about yes, Cristiano, patience. Okay. So the, all right, we're gonna go back with some white to find the outside. Yeah, I would say my art style is definitely influenced by a handful of artists combined. Uh, two of the major ones was Denny Dent, who started performance painting, started that style. And then I would say uh, Leroy Neiman is a, you know, another huge inspiration to my work. Amy Warhol is another one. Uh, but who are some of your favorite artists? Can you guys let me know below in the comments who is an artist that inspires you? Maybe someone that I should check out myself. I'm just adding some things to it. So how does art impact my life? I think for the most part it's changed my life. It's what provides for my family. So the biggest impact that art has on my life is the fact that I'm able to provide for my family through this platform. Uh, I've never been to Africa, so I've been in almost just about every continent on this earth. We've been invited to Africa a ton of times, but our schedule hasn't uh, worked out. But I cannot wait to go to Africa uh, when the time presents itself. Uh, where is he based? In D.C., okay. What's his name again? I'll say it on, on there. So Guy Jones is an artist that I got to check out. Thank you for that. throw some paint at this. We can go to this one right here. All right, let's get some water on this paint. And I want it to feel like it's rising up. So we're gonna start here and let the paint just kind of fly upwards. Skate Martinez. Skate Martinez is another artist I suggested. Thank you for the suggestion. Let's get some. 
some more colors over here to throw. Getting this. This and some gray. And then can you just come closer so they can see her face before I finish this off? I just want you to see some of the detail in it. I feel like she's a 2020 Lady Liberty. That's, she's just like, instead of one arm up, she's got both up, hope and justice. All right, I'm gonna establish just a little bit more definition on these. Fingers. All right, let's come in for one last handprint to finish this. Uh, let's do this, take one last look at this painting, and then before we sign off, I'm gonna just do some shout outs to get your city ready, but take one last look at, uh, we'll call this Hope and Justice. Thank you. Uh, if, uh, let me know what you think about this painting. Either hit the hearts, hit the like button, or hit the share button if you enjoyed it, if you're feeling it. If not, let me know that too in the comments. And then, all right, and then also I'm gonna read some of these comments on YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and more before we sign off. on that camera. All right, come on over. We're gonna do some shout outs before we sign off. Uh, those of you still with us, thank you so much. We're about to do some shout outs before we sign off. Take one last look at this painting and here we All right, welcome back. Uh, can they see the painting in the background? Can they, can they you guys see it a little bit? Uh, either way, so today's painting was inspired by the uh, We Will Grow theme that I've been on recently. The print for We Will Grow, uh, we're going to be coming out with that probably by Friday because uh, we're here a little bit late. There's a lot of prep work that goes into uh, bringing these, to, you know, these paintings to life and also bringing the prints out there to you. So we'll probably come out with that on Friday. Either way, um, I just want to do some shout outs on YouTube. I know you guys are on here. So Wendy Edwards, she said, very, very amazing. Thank you for the love, Wendy. Appreciate it. Uh, Kim Jackson Matthews is a new viewer. Welcome, you're on Facebook as well. Um, so Kate said, would love this print as well as the We Will Grow. So the We Will Grow, I'm coming out with that either tomorrow or Friday. Most likely Friday. Uh, what else? Let me see who else is on here. If you have any last minute questions. Let's do this before we sign off. Uh, shout out your city. Let me know where you're tuning in from so I can shout you out. Also, uh, I'll be going live on Instagram really quick right after this as well. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and are they on Instagram still? All right, yeah, so let me know where you're tuning in from so I can shout you out as well. All right, so Chicago, thank you for watching. Uh, Mississippi, there we go. Shout out to you. Puerto Rico. San Diego, Elk Grove, welcome. Indiana, I see Joan on Facebook in Sacramento, welcome. I see Angie in Placerville as well. El Salvador, Mal Malaysia, Malaysia. All right, so where are you? San Jose, Colombia, Mexico, uh, Malaysia. 
Indonesia. All right, uh, real quick, we're gonna end this Art Life Live session. First, I wanna thank you. The image back there, actually we'll cut to it before uh, we sign off. You'll take one last look, and again, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Uh, but last, uh, I wanna leave you this message. Always uh, approach everything with paint, passion, action, intent, and meaning to teach. And with that foundation, you create anything in your life. My name is David Garibaldi, and this is Art Life Live.